January has been full of fun new experiences for me in the modeling industry, specifically my first few runway castings. Now, in the previous vlog, you saw my first runway casting, but since then, I have had two more. I have some footage here I want to share from those two castings, and I'll also give a little bit of background about how they went and what I like to do to prepare for them. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's time for my second ever runway casting and I'm not as nervous as I was with the first one which is good because that was that was way too nervous. I did not need to be that nervous. I've practiced, I'm ready, I'm confident, I can definitely do this. So I'm a few minutes early, I'm just waiting to go inside and hopefully we'll have some time to warm up. Let's go. I was able to practice for about 30 minutes. It was my first casting in these new heels and also my first time walking on a slick floor in them. I definitely have a lot of work to do in these shoes. I think the casting went really well and I did my best. However, I did not get cast in this show. But getting experience with casting is so valuable and I love meeting other models in the industry. Everyone is so nice and it's great company. So at the second casting, I was not nearly as nervous as the first, but I did still have some nerves, which manifested in the form of my feet sweating. In these new shoes, that was no good because my toes kept sliding forward in my shoe, making it hard to walk. I persevered and made it through the casting, but I knew I had to do something about this. I bought these inserts that are meant to make your shoes more comfortable, but since they're fabric, I was hoping they'd be moisture wicking as well. And then it was time to get ready for my third casting. I was feeling much more comfortable going into this casting. My nerves were very low and I knew from my first two experiences that I had nothing to worry about. I enjoyed a beautiful sunset on the ride over to the casting venue, and I was excited to see my friends and also have a chance to meet more awesome Utah models. One of the new friends I made that night is also with my agency, so it was great to chat with her and practice together. The environment at this casting was so supportive and comfortable. Everyone was so nice and we were all cheering each other on. It's my favorite casting experience so far. When the practice was over, we all lined up and took turns walking forward the designer. Here's how I did. The shoe inserts helped so much, my toes did not slide forward, and I was able to walk comfortably. So, how do you think I did? Let me know, leave a comment, and tell me what you think. I had such a good time in all these castings, it was such a good learning experience, I'm so glad I was able to attend all of them. I made some really amazing friends, and I'm so excited for future castings. So previously I had thought that the casting in the last vlog I had not gotten, but I actually just found out earlier today that I did get cast in that show. However, I will not be participating in it because they are not paying their models. And that's something that I don't appreciate. And so I'm not going to work with them. 
I am trying to get paid as a model and by doing free work I'm only hurting the industry and that's something that I want to make a full video on at some point. I want to make a whole video explaining exactly why you shouldn't do free work even if you think oh I'm just going to do it for the experience. There's a lot that goes into it and it's really bad for the market. Now the second show, Park City Fashion Week, I did not get cast in that one. They actually had their event just last weekend. Honestly, that one is also not a paid project, so hopefully in the future, if they pay their models, I'd love to be a part of it. But I'm not sad that I didn't get to be a part of it, because they wouldn't be able to pay me either. And the final casting, I haven't heard back from yet, so I'm assuming it's a no, but knowing how long it took the first casting to get back to me, I guess there's still hope. However, this is their first year running this show, and again, it's not a paid project this year. I heard from a friend that because it's their first year, they're not able to do that. Hopefully that means in the future they'll be able to pay their models and then I'd love to participate. But as a model, I need to be getting paid and not getting paid is something that will make me turn down an offer to have a place in the show. With all that being said, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, please like, please comment, and follow me on social media and just engage with me everywhere. I'd love to get to know you and interact with you. And I hope you look forward to seeing more content from me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.